So for a long time, there's been a debate on whether or not progressives, the left, should go on Fox News and what exactly should be the goal when going on Fox News. And just to put my opinions out there, I very much do support progressives and the left going on Fox News, but I think there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And so Glenn Greenwald, uh, formerly of The Intercept, now he does his own thing, um, is a, in my opinion, pretty good, pretty good on a lot of issues. His, his coverage of the issues uh, regarding like Lula's imprisonment were like phenomenal. And so I think that he is a... I would agree with him on the probably the vast majority of issues. And he recently went on Fox News. And so I thought this would be good good opportunity to look at his appearance and see whether or not he did a good job and whether or not his appearance was useful in advancing any sort of you know progressive left-wing agenda. Glenn, um oh just just to restart. They are talking about um what like uh, how Biden is perceived by the media, like wh whether or not like how how tough the media is going to be on Joe Biden and whether or not they're going to, you know, now that the uh, election is over, if they're going to like start being tough on Joe Biden. That's basically the, kind of the setup for this. And then Laura Ingram is about to ask uh, Glenn Greenwald. Do you expect this to change at all as Biden's presidency continues? No, I expect it to get significantly worse. And I have to say, Laura, you really know how to rile up a guest, forcing me to listen to those hideous, grotesque videos in my ear, one after the next, right before I'm ready to speak. That was actually quite disgusting. The reason that this is happening, and this is a trend that has been going on for quite some time, and it's not like these journalists don't talk about it or don't know it. They actually talk about it quite a bit. But when they talk about it, the fact that they're losing faith and trust on the part of the public, they do one of three things. Either they complain about it and whine about it, like it's so unfair because they're entitled to deference, or they blame their critics. They say, the reason this is happening is because people point out our errors and point out that we're engaged in propaganda and not reporting, so it's their fault. And now what they're doing is they're trying to just censor everybody off of the internet, so you essentially have no choice but to listen to the people that these polls show are no longer trustworthy. And I think what everyone is going to see is exactly what that video montage demonstrated, which is people will remember how they conducted themselves during the Trump administration, and they will see the glaring difference, not when there's a difference between the two presidents, but when they're the same. They will treat them wildly differently, and that reaction, that lack of trust, will continue to worsen undoubtedly. So I, I think that what he did there, if, if you are going on Laura Ingram's show, it should be to argue with Laura Ingram. I'm sorry. If you are going on Tucker Carlson, it should be to argue with Tucker Carlson. If you are going on the Ben Shapiro show, it should be to debate Ben Shapiro and to point out all the horrific things he said and to point out where he's wrong and all the different things he says about economic policy and the hor horrible things he said about Palestinians. It should not be to serve as a tool to advance their agenda. That, that, that is not what you should do when you go on Fox News. Um, and I think that that's what Glenn Greenwald is doing right here. And I think that's a problem because substantively, it, or, uh, sub, substantively, sorry about that, um, in a vacuum, is what he's saying true? Does the, is the media probably not going to go hard enough on Biden? Yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, but did the media go hard enough on Donald Trump? Not in the right ways. They, they went on hard on him on like... Uh, ridiculous things, things that didn't matter. Um, but when it came to things like uh, uh, genocide currently being uh, waged in Yemen, no, they didn't go nearly hard enough on him, uh, nearly hard enough on him about that, because that there, there wasn't a whole lot of daylight between Obama and Trump. Now Trump was worth, worse on that issue. Um, but you didn't see the media talking about it a whole lot. And that's therein lies the problem is that, sure, what Glenn Greenwald is saying is true. When you say that when you go on Fox News and say that and say like, oh, the media isn't going to be tough enough on Biden. Well, then, you're just giving free range to Fox News. They're going to be like, all right, well, when we, because when Fox News criticizes Joe Biden, it is not going to be the same way that someone like Glenn Greenwald or someone, you know, on the left would criticize Joe Biden. But when he's just having this almost, I don't want to say it's too good faith, but when he's acting like Laura Ingram is uh, acting in good faith with, with her, with her bringing him on is like genuinely just curious about whether or not the, the criticisms of Joe Biden levied by the media will be the same from a Laura Ingram versus, you know, a, CNN, um, they're, just, they're just not going to be the same. And so it, it's, th this is not a good appearance, in my opinion. And I, I just think that you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't go on and then just serve as a vehicle to say, ah, see, even this guy says that, you know, the media isn't good, because that, that, that only advances Fox News's agenda. And I just, um, even if, if substance, the substance of what he's saying is true, I think that there is a time, like it's, it's a super, super important to be principled. If someone asks you a question, you should be, give a principled answer. You shouldn't lie just because of where you are. But 
you can direct the conversation and you can shift the things and you can talk about if they're going to talk about the media talk about how they didn't go hard enough on donald trump because i know that that is something that glenn greenwald believes that they didn't go hard enough on certain areas with donald trump talk about those things and if you want to like you you just can't like you don't have to bring up things that you know like maybe are true but aren't going to help in this situation um, and I think that Glenn Greenwald does the opposite of what someone should do when they go on Fox News. Like I said, I do 100% support people going on Fox News, going, speaking to conservatives, speaking to Republicans, speaking to people you disagree with, and trying to change their minds. But when you go on there and just serve as basically this confirmation, uh, uh, this way of confirming things that they already believe, you're not doing you're not doing any good in my opinion. You're not doing what you should have been doing. Um, and I don't want to say that Glenn Greenwald shouldn't have gone on Fox News. I just want to say he should have been better with going on Fox News. He should have known better. I, I honestly don't know. I think it's because um, Glenn Greenwald, with his falling out um, with the Intercept, I think that he has a a bit of distaste right now when it comes to criticizing Joe Biden. But you have to remember that Laura Ingram is not acting in good faith when she is questioning how hard the media is going to go on Joe Biden because her criticisms are going to look a lot different than yours, Glenn Greenwald. And so I, I think that, you know, I, I, I just think that this is a, a nuanced conversation. It, it shouldn't be that nuanced. It really shouldn't be. Um, but it has to be because some people think, oh, whether you go on Fox News or you don't go on Fox News. I'm like in this weird middle spot where you should go on Fox News, but you should go after them while you're on there. I'm very much in favor of open and free discourse. And you don't have to be hostile or anything, but just, you know, disagree. Like be, go on there and disagree. It is a mit. You can't. You can't go on Laura Ingram's show and not be in open disagreement with her. Because if you look like you're agreeing, because then you've, you've given your credibility almost in a way to Laura Ingram, like to, to her viewers, like they're like, okay, this guy agrees with on, 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 on what we, when we, what we believe. But if you go on there and point out valid critiques of what Laura Ingram says, then that's, that's going to really change a lot of people's minds. In my opinion, I think that, you know, there, there are different ways to do it. You know, how antagonistic you be. I think that's up for debate. I think every person is going to be a little different, but you can't just go on there and blanket agree with everything that's being said. I, I just don't think, even if it's everything you believe, you have to direct the conversation into some point, uh, point of contention. If you, if you really want to make a difference, make your appearance on Fox News worthwhile. And so that's kind of my take. If you guys disagree with anything I said, or um, if you, you know, enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you disagree, please leave a comment down below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day.